Today's topic is about the binocular balancing and you know that the binocular balancing is the final step of the subjective reflection. So after recording the best visual acuity of the patient, we have prescribed the best vision sphere, we have done the duochrome test, we have performed all the steps of the Jackson cross cylinder and now the final step is about the binocular balancing. The visual acuity and the duochrome test, best vision sphere, Jackson cross cylinder, all these tests were monocular and this binocular balancing is a binocular test. So we will learn about the principle of the binocular balancing. So the principle of the binocular balancing actually we have to balance the accommodation in both eyes and I will teach you the principle of accommodation with a funny example. Suppose the brain our brain has two wives and the wife number one is called the right eye and wife number two is called the left eye. So the brain is very just, he is very faithful to both of his wives right and if he has to purchase a beautiful lipstick for his one wife he has to purchase the same brand for his second wife so it means the brain will send the same accommodation to the both of the eyes if right eye is required plus one of accommodation and left eye required plus three of accommodation then brain will send plus one for the right one and plus one the same for the left one for the left eye and if the requirement of the left eye is plus three and the brain will send the same accommodation plus three for the left eye and plus three the same for the right eye so actually we have to prescribe the best corrected prescription the accurate spherical correction the accurate cylindrical correction and the accurate access to the patient right so this is actually the principle of the binocular balancing and now we will start the procedure so we are going to start the binocular balancing and the first technique of the binocular balancing is the equalization by the alternate technique as you can see the best vision sphere before the patient's eye is plus two in the right one and same in the left eye and the binocular visual acuity of the patient is six by six so this patient do not need any cylindrical correction. So in this procedure, we actually fulfilling the accommodative effort of the both eyes. And now we will put the fogging lenses before the patient's eye. The fogging lenses are all the plus spherical numbers, all the plus spherical lenses are called the fogging lenses. So the question is that why we need plus spherical lenses in binocular balancing so the answer is that these plus spherical lenses are actually relax the accommodation before the patient's eye so we will put the fogging lenses before the patient's eye and we will use plus one spherical as fogging lens before the right left eye and in the fellow eye so we have plus one spherical which are actually fogging lenses before the patient's eye. So before the best vision sphere with best corrected prescription, the visual acuity of the patient was 6 by 6 and all the lines of the Snellen chart was clear. But by putting the fogging lenses before the patient's eye, the visual acuity get worse. So after putting the fogging lenses, the visual acuity of the patient will get reduced 3 to 4 lines. How much power we have to use as fogging lenses, it depends on the age of the patient. So by putting the fogging lenses, which are plus one in both eyes, the visual acuity of the patient is getting worse. So now we will put a handheld occluder before the patient's eye and I will put this occluder three to four seconds before patient's left eye and the patient is looking with the right eye and I will ask the patient that how many lines he can read on the Snellen chart now can you read the last line no all right can you read the second last line no and what about the third last line okay with the right eye the visual acuity of the patient is 6 by 18 and that is our target 
our target is 6 by 18. After putting the fogging lenses, the reduced visual acuity of the patients in both eyes should be 6 by 18. And the visual acuity in the right eye of the patient is 6 by 18. So we have achieved our target. And now after 3 to 4 seconds, I will switch the occluder. And I will ask the same question about his visual acuity. And if the visual acuity in the left eye is 6 by 18, it means patient is unable to read the line of 6 by 6, the line of 6 by 9 and the line of 6 by 12. He is unable to read the last three lines. So if after switching the occluder after 3 to 4 seconds, if the visual acuity in both eyes is worsening till 6 by 18, then both of his eyes are binocularly balanced. So now we simply remove these fogging lenses and we will prescribe the prescription which is plus 2 in the left eye and plus 2 same in the left eye, sorry right eye. And now we have another example in the right eye. The prescription is plus 2 spherical with minus 0.5 cylinder at 90 degree and the visual acuity is 6 by 6 in the right eye and in the left eye the prescription is plus 3 with minus 0.5 cylinder at 90 degree and the visual acuity is the same as 6 by 6 and now we will apply the equalization by alternate technique and we will add plus 1 spherical as fogging lens before the right eye and the same fogging lens before the left eye. So if the visual acuity in both eyes, now we will apply occluder for 3 to 4 seconds before the left eye and we will detect the visual acuity in the right eye. If the visual acuity is 6 by 18, then it is fine. And then we will occlude the right eye for 3 to 4 seconds and we will detect the visual acuity in the left eye. And if the visual acuity is 6 by 18, then it means both of these eyes are binocularly balanced then we will simply remove the plus one fogging lenses before the both eyes and we prescribe this prescription in right and left eye but if visual acuity in the right eye after applying the plus one fogging lens is not 6 by 18 but it is 6 by 12 so now we have to add some more fogging lenses some additional fogging lenses and we will add plus 0 0.25 and now prescription is in the right eye and after this prescription plus one fogging lens is there and after the fogging lens plus 0 0.25 additional fogging lens is also there so now the visual acuity will get more worst and it will approach to 6 by 18 that is our target right and now I will put the fogging lens before the right eye and now I will detect the visual acuity in the left eye, I suppose the visual acuity in the left eye with uh, after applying the plus one fogging lens is 6 by uh, you can say 24. So now in this case we have to reduce the fogging lens so we can approach to the 6 by 18. So now we will add some negative power, some minus power so we can reduce the effect of the plus power. Right. So right now the effective power of the fogging lens is plus 0 0.75. Right. So after applying minus 0 0.25 or you can say after reducing the fogging lens, the visual acuity will approach to 6 by 18. And now in both eyes we have approached our target. And now we will simply ask the patient that visual acuity in the left eye is 6 by 18. And now I will put the occluder before the left eye and I will ask the patient that visual acuity is 6 by 18 or not. So if the visual acuity is 6 by 18 in both eyes and now we will simply remove these fogging lenses and the rest of the additional lenses we will add in the spherical correction. This 0 0.25 plus will add in the spherical correction of the right eye and this minus 0 0.25 will add in the spherical correction of the left eye.
so now the resultant power in the right eye would be plus 2.25 spherical with the same cylinder we will not alter the cylinder and the axis keep it in mind we will not change the cylinder and the axis these fogging lenses will add in the spherical correction so in the right eye and in the left eye this minus 0 0.25 will add in the plus 3 so the resultant power would be 2.75 with the same cylinder and same axis so with this prescription in the left eye with this prescription in the right eye both of these eyes will get binocularly balanced hope you understand and in the very next video we will learn about the second technique of the binocular balancing which is called humphrey immediate contrast method